All right, here we go. We're ready for Google Docs assignment number three. This is about rearranging text. Here's how this is set up. On Google Classroom, there is a help page. The help page has instructions on it. The help page looks like this, and it tells you, you know, how to get started. You're going to go, there's a document you're going to click on, and it will, Google Classroom will make a copy with your name on it. Uh, so you'll be all set there. You'll have to do some selecting of text, and I've got different ways to do that that I'm going to demonstrate here in a minute. And then you're going to take some paragraphs and get them in order. They're all out of order, and so you're going to have to get them in order. It's not going to take you very long. This is not a very hard assignment, really. There's a couple of different ways you can put the paragraphs into order, but I'll demonstrate those here in just a minute. When you're done, there should be a turn in button at the top right of the cop of your copy of the document. So you should just be able to go up to the top right and turn it in. Just click that turn in button and that should do it. Let's go over here to Google Classroom and take a look at how this works. So here is the document right over here. It says number three, rearrange text. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. Now, like I said, when you do that, when you click it, it should make a copy for you and it even up here on the top left-hand side, uh, it should put your name on it. Your name ought to be right there with it. It does not do that for me, so I'm going to click File and Make a Copy. I'm going to do that real quick so I don't mess up my original document. You won't have to do that part. It should make a copy for you. It's set up to do that. Now let's look at what we've got here. The, the text that's in these paragraphs is not English, so don't try to read it and understand it. It's not English. We've got a bunch of paragraphs. They are labeled though. It says paragraph 8, paragraph 12, paragraph 5, 14, 3, 9, all the way down. And what you've got to do is put them in order. Now, don't do this. Don't just click here where it says paragraph 8 and hit the backspace key and put a 1 there. We're not renumbering the paragraphs. That's not what we're doing. This assignment is about moving the paragraphs around and getting them in the proper order. Watch a couple of things. I'm not going to demonstrate all of them. There are 15 paragraphs. I'm not going to demonstrate all of them, but I'll show you enough that I feel like you, you can do it. We first of all need uh, paragraph one up at the very top. So I'm going to go find it. I'm rolling along here. Oh, I found it. Right there it is, paragraph number one. So I will select paragraph one. And you can select it however you want to. The triple click trick works. If you're on a Chromebook, I think what you have to do is tap, tap, tap. And you have to do it pretty fast. Uh, but it should work. Or you can just click and drag. Um, to get it selected. Or here's another way you could do it. You could uh, click right there by the P in paragraph one, press and hold the shift key, tap the down arrow, down arrow, down arrow, down arrow, down arrow, and that will select as well. So what you got to do is get the paragraph selected. Once the paragraph is selected, there are a couple of ways that you could get it up to the top. That's what you've got to do is get it up to the top. You could do what's called a cut and paste. You don't want to copy and paste. I don't want two copies of paragraph one, but I could do a cut and paste. Here's how that works. I could go to the edit menu and I could click cut or there is a keyboard shortcut. Can hold control and tap X and then that will uh, cut the paragraph. So when I cut it, it disappears. It looks like, oh my goodness, it's gone. It's not really gone. The computer remembers it. It's got it in, in its memory. So now I'm going to run up to the top and I want paragraph one to be up at the top. So I'll click here at the beginning of the document right here where it says paragraph eight. And now I'm going to paste it, which would be edit paste or control V or right click paste, however you typically paste. Here's something that is a part of this assignment. Notice how paragraph eight is crammed up right next to the bottom of paragraph one. I do not want that on this assignment. I want there to be a blank line in between the paragraphs. So the way to accomplish that is make sure the blinking cursor is right next to the P here in paragraph eight. Press the enter key. That does it. Now, be careful of this. I also don't want a whole bunch of space in between the paragraphs. Don't do that either. That's not what we're after. So I'm going to back that up. I'm using backspace and I'll make sure I just press enter one time because what I want here is just one empty line, one empty space in between these paragraphs. 
I'm going to do a few more in the demo, and then I'm going to show you one that's all the way done. So let's go ahead. Let's find paragraph two. I'm rolling, rolling, rolling. I found paragraph two. All right, so I'm going to get it selected. Now here's another way that you can do this. Um, I believe that if you're on your Chromebook, if you get it selected, you could just use your finger to do this. Or if you have a stylus or if you have a mouse connected to your Chromebook, but I'm just going to click in here. If you're using your finger, I think you would just touch and hold, just press and hold. So I'm, I'm using a mouse. I'll click and hold, and I'm just going to drag up. Just go up, 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 up. And I'm going to that little blue cursor right there. I'm, going to, I'm still holding my mouse button. If you are doing it with your finger on your screen, keep your finger on your screen and get that little blue cursor in the right spot and then let go. You let go of the mouse button or you take your finger off of the screen or whatever and then paragraph two pops in there now once again i don't want paragraph two crammed right up underneath paragraph one so i got to press enter one time there to put in that one blank line yay all right well let's let's pick up speed here a little bit let's go get paragraph three and i'll just drag it up you can either cut and paste or if you would prefer you could just drag it up now i'm going to click there where it says paragraph three and i'm going to press enter right there now look what happened to me paragraph eight is like really like chopped right into paragraph three there well let's get those separated let's click there and press enter a couple of times and get those separated i'm going to go find paragraph four yay there it is i found it and I could either do control X and cut it or I could just drag it up and I want it to go right after paragraph three. I'm going to click here by the P in paragraph four. I'm going to press enter one time because I want one blank space there, not a whole bunch of blank space. Don't do that. Just one blank space, right? I'll do one more in the demo and then I'm going to switch over to one that's already all the way done. So here's paragraph five. I'm just going to drag that up. Put it right after paragraph four. Let's press enter right there. And then, oh my goodness, paragraph eight is all stuck right next to paragraph five. So I'm going to press enter and I'm going to press enter again. Now it's okay if a paragraph runs, o runs over the page break. That doesn't bother me. Uh, but if it bothers you, you could kind of fix it so the, the you can move it so that the paragraph, the new paragraph is on a new page if, if that is a problem for you right so what you're going to wind up doing then is and i'll get back here let me get back here and show you uh do i yeah i've got it right here all right so when it's all the way done if you have done the whole thing and i'm fast forwarding here i did not demonstrate all of it but now i've opened one up that's already done all right so it should look like this you got paragraph 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There are 15 of them. And like I said, look at paragraph 12 with me for a second here. Notice how paragraph 12 goes over a page break. That's okay. That's that's fine. You don't have to worry about that. Don't, don't sweat about that. It's okay if it does that. And there's one blank space, one blank line between each of the paragraphs. Not a whole bunch of extra space and not like this where it's all crammed up right next to the paragraph. There's one blank space. So this is an example of one that is done. And that is your mission of the day. For you guys, for you students up here on the top right hand side, when you get finished, there should just be a turn in button. You should, when you get it all done, you can just come up here and click turn in and then you confirm that on Google Classroom and you're golden. All right, so that's the mission of the day. Happy rearranging.